hello youtube welcome back to the channel oh my god here welcome back to the channel this is director game hope you are doing good all right today in this video i want to show you guys you know i know we took a days like we never did any new tutorial but i have doing this i'm back and there's this tutorial that i've already done uh it's it's live sessions but i found out like let me come up with this thing first as the pleasing as to tell you guys that i'm back on beauty and then i'm going to come here with that it's a very long tutorial trust me all right without wasting time let me today show you uh, these videos that's how i got this footage um from this you see the difficulty the way they look how i got this footage from this to into that how uh the process that everything that's i've done to get this type of look so i'm gonna start the wow 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 thing that's the way the places i've done all right this is there to kimi if you never subscribe this youtube channel i beg do so come on joining to my master class 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 tutorials you'll be able to join my whatsapp group yeah actually i have a whatsapp group most people come in here asking what type of master class you want can you have a video to share no bro i don't have a those thing Masterclass is all about color grading from start to finish. I mean, from low level to high level. So ask me about, let me not talk about it. All right. So because I'm quick on it, I don't want us to have a spend a lot of time in this tutorial. I'm just going to talk quick, quick, quick. All right. In this video, what exactly I have done to get this type of color grading. I've done like this to my color management in here. I just did DaVinci White Gamut into a Dutch DaVinci Gamut Gamma term, timeline color space, and as well as output color space to my Red 7 and I mean Red 7 9 SRGB. So, this, this, uh, this footage was shot on uh, SLOG, it was SLOG 3, so I converted to DaVinci White Gamut. Is it because I'm using DaVinci One DaVinci White Gamut to write into the sorry and to my output the way that i do it like i just did the damage work amount to my srgb and then i used this loot this kodak kodak uh kodak 2383 bots uh what i've done is i never used cinema film so i reduced the intensity the reason why is because i've done the correction and everything before and then later i was like should i use kodak okay let me go so the time that I use cinema film, everything is got to be changed. And I was like, I don't want to change everything. The process that I've already done. Okay, let me put this loot, but I'm going to the 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 reduce the intensity. I'm going to do the intensity reduction. So this is what exactly I found. Look at the image. The image was not perfect. So yeah, so there's stuff that you have to do to make it so this is our rx79 look at this we've got the noise and stuff like that s log mostly it producing a lot of noise you guys know about it so i uh, yeah um, we're about to make a nice cleaning image and this is it and this is our rx79 the way it looks it was very 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 not perfect and then another thing that i did is just i did my global saturate i mean the global uh exposing uh this was not this wasn't uh, a hero shot so that's why you see is overexposed the hero shot was never about it this is the project i mean you can see the other clips you can see so this was not the hero shot but the hero shot was very very low light so what i decided to do is just between the light but the balance of it you can fetch it into here while the compressions this is the part i mostly do compressions you see uh the way i touch my caves like this this is uh, i do the completion you guys know about it i've been explaining about this too much on my tutorial if you never if you don't know about this technique go back and watch it here is a problem a lot of beginners they struggle how to make color grading as pro level youtube itself can never pull up to that level director kim came up with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two which is the phase one has three parties and each of her parts has a long house video having an issue with the car senses color management creating different looks fixing problems how to balance proper your footage shots merging deal with the small budget camera everything you need to know from davinci resolve masterclass has deep explanations if you really struggle with creating look director kim never seen enough till he 
he made the 26 lats which is has loop DNA and skin tone lat and color separations. This city uh, power grade also available. Director Kim really wants to shift you into next level. Have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading. He decided to create a WhatsApp group for his own student member. But remember, to join a WhatsApp group, you need to buy one of his products, either Masterclass or Loot Package. Now, let's back into the lesson. And another thing that I've done is this balance node. This is done everything. This is doing everything. Starting with the saturations, the balance of uh, temperatures, and the balance of light. You, as you can see, uh, before was so much, so much light into it. But now you can see the light is less. Yeah, because I control in here. The time I do short matching, the controlling was in this node. All right. What I've done so far here is just i control the template i mean uh, saturations by using subtract subtracting subtractive saturations uh the temperatures as you can see i use the global hdr for controlling white balance to push it picture to the side because it was too warm so i push it to the core port and i used lift the gamma again to mess up with my balance of exposure all right another thing that's a jump point to the look dna this is the part that i've done look look dna i used my loot package the loot package was also the warm tone this is type of warm the reason why i wanted something not so much cooler the warm stayed there but to be neutral like everything has to be neutral as you can see the final outputs the the picture is a little bit of warm but it's very it's very perfect balance and we, you're going to see how i did the balance all right so the balance was found in into this place this this is where i reduce the temperature again there to the book because the this was too much that they give it the warm bulk and then another thing that i did is i using i use the curve so i reduce the yellow tone to balance this is this helped me to to split between my my skin tone and background yeah actually i wanted something very warmer but still i want to say separation here you can see the much separation everything's too much warmer and this is why i did that thing all right another thing is for the skin tone you guys know about the skin tone <laughs> always we talk about the skin tone all right what i've done about the skin tone here is i qualify the skin tone like this look the way the skin tone qualified and it really picked some other stuff like the baggy ground but don't worry about it because i never done too much and i really used a very 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 less of it but mostly i just deal with the saturation i think this into this part i never done but to add a clip there i just deal with the the saturation a little bit i never touch anything else and also i just did it building by use these plugins you see this it's almost a thousand points there yeah to build up their skin you can see their skin now before this guy was have something into his face but right now you can see the skin is a little bit perfect and as well i think this let me put it in here well, it's good now. all right uh another thing that i've done is look at this mask the background was too much noisy and annoying you can see we have very 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 some artifacts in there the reason why this is a bit footage and it really crashed on when a car is messing up directors i recommend you guys to do something like this when you go to the shooting and you want some neon light just like the blue one like that when it's mixed with the red it's always creating some period cars which is easily get artifacts and another thing if you want to get the balance perfectly when you're using neon light make sure you have a white light to diffuse those things the at the middle where the the color mix together you know is a creating that artifact that i'm telling you this this mix mess up thing like like example when you mix with the blue even this one mine you see this one this is the neon light this is a blue one it's very oversaturated when it meets up with a warm light like that one that's why i put it so far when it meets up it's creating some period sometimes you can see even with some of my tutorials i'm getting the color like purple magenta thing which is can never be wiped off maybe about gamma stuff you can deal with that all right what i've done is i qualify those those things to the background those two those things that you, you see there you see there I qualify them and then I use this plug called the bands to 
to make it a little bit clean you see that's what i've done so far uh look at this now you can see how clean it is now this is before and this is after you can see how clean it is now and also sometimes it's creating something like auto focus like it's giving a focus you know about focus lens focus all right another thing that i touch is this part is i i just deal with the, my skin tone and my red channel level as well because i saw the picture it was very very uh over saturated the, the reason why you can't see it because there's some stuff that i did outside of forex seven now you can see it's off and you can also see that i never did a lot of things just a few stuff but the color is starting to get much cleaner that's why i'm telling you guys often when you want to get a clean result you don't have to do a lot of things you can see other guys they do a lot of noise like putting a lot of things they keep keep crushing the image look at this one fairly clean and smart and nice yeah all right so another thing is what i did is just i did my contrast because the reason why i did solid contrast is because um we just compared the contrast in this node so it was very less contrast and the contrast is not about doing like putting the contrast slider and push it no it's, it's about to get the contrast like the shadow has to be very uh, strong and reason why i did this before because i want to get the perfect mid-tone and highlights so the shadow I'll never be aware with the shadow i'm going to mess with it later after putting everything in to the part where it's supposed to be and then yeah right now i just put it back there you see i just i just put it back without messing the contrast i mean with, without messing the highlights and mid-tone you can even see these guys properly yeah actually the footage was also never disappointed me but if you just doing like uh you just come in and you know like rushing thing you know you you, you won't able to get this smartness stuff get into the basic proper place like this all right another thing that i did is putting my another loot this one this type of loot um it's also uh split the stuff there you see i did this outside of car space and as well as change a little bit of my this purple thing to be the blue a bit cyan and yeah it's 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 did it it's did a great job if you once did loot it's available on my loot package and as well yeah you can contact me on my whatsapp to get this loot all right and if you're going to buy loot or master class you go you'll be able to join my whatsapp group yeah you'll be my student member there all right and another thing in what i did is just to give it a detail of image these plugins you can see now how the image is coming the Im the picture is getting popping uh what i've done here is just i used my shopping and then i used the contrast pop to do this magic this is how i mess never done much never done much this is how exactly i've done to get this footage from uh this into here look at this and then our last thing is noise reduction to clean it up that that thing even the other guys let me show you this these things the same thing just only one addition these saturations uh let me show you maybe even this closer one just a little bit of a testing you know this one the same thing the same thing this one same thing same thing uh this guy same thing let me show you this one uh, about this 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 another shot that with another guy to the kitchen look at this the same thing ne same thing never done so much it's just only balancing white balance and this blah blah what exposure and stuff stuff like that even to this spot even to this spot same thing bro same thing but these are the extra extra additional according to the already footage thanks very much for watching this video this is the stock game hope you enjoyed the tutorial hope you learned something new little quick thing but it's a little, it's very helpful see you guys on next episode